Hi guys, it's me, my Atlantis. Welcome back to my channel, my Atlantis Music Official. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and put on post notifications so that you know when well, a new video. So in today's video, I will be doing my autism story. So let's get on with the video. So, as I said, I will be talking about uh, my autism story, so I will be talking about basically my life with having autism. But just before I do that, I would like to give a shout out to um, Bianca Kalina, uh, because she's a little teacher, but also she inspired me to do this video because her and uh, another shout out to another YouTuber called Ali Lee. Uh, they both did a collab about their stories with autism because yesterday was Autism Awareness Day and so they inspired me to do um, a awesome story. So their two channels and their two uh, autism story videos were down below and make sure you don't check them out and watch their two videos. So, firstly, uh, to do with it, before I tell you about my life with autism, what is the definition of autism? So, I, I actually don't know, but the uh, doodle definition of autism is a, so it's a noun, so a uh, developmental disorder of variable severity that is characterised by difficulty in social interaction and communication by restricted or repetitive patterns of thought and behaviour. I know that might sound a bit like, ooh, what does that mean? But... It, I will try to explain that throughout the video. So let's start with my autism story. So I was diagnosed um, with uh, a type of autism called Asperger's Syndrome uh, in 2012. And I was seven, I can't remember exactly what day in our month, but in 2012, uh, when I was seven or eight years old. Um, so, I, and also on the same day I was diagnosed with dyspraxia, but obviously I won't get into that because that's not a type of autism. But, um, so, yeah, from the, it, from that part, I was, at first, was very short, it was like, very, I was meant to be diagnosed with that. But I might have had it, I've worked with that, I might have had it from, because I remember last year a teacher telling me, that they had long muscle time like me when I had long muscle time when I was born, and obviously that I had autism. But uh, there are people who have autism but also have long muscle time. I've had long muscle time since I was born, and I probably might have had um, autism since I was born, but I wasn't diagnosed with it until I was seven because there are a lot of people with autism, or mostly all people with autism cannot speak until about three or four years old. I think I remember my mum telling me that I couldn't like to talk a lot properly so I was like about three and a half. I certainly made up for it because I, I, I never show up. But anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, so, so a lot of things for me personally with autism is the, one of the things for a lot of people is that they find it hard to make friends. I have found it hard to make friends um, all the time, but I've not. I've never gone to a special needs school. I've gone to a mainstream primary school, high school, because I, mine's not like severe, sort of mild mine autism, but still it does affect me. So, um, so I have that, but I have lots of great friends. I've like I'm very grateful, like my best friend Jordan. Um, like, I'm really grateful, like we talk and stuff. He hasn't got autism or anything, but I do have some friends, like one of my friends, nowhere he does to a special needs school. Um, and he is one of my best friends. I don't know seem to what I do, it's lovely. But anyway, so, um, yeah, so obviously, also, you know, I think, so it can be hard to make friends, but I think eventually you can make friends. Now, I remember my Aunt Kalina and uh, Alali talking about how they've been bullied because of their autism and if they have any other special needs, I don't know. But obviously, I've been bullied. Uh, that's my friends, you know, still on life, really. Um, I think the most severe was bullied. It was in year nine by three boys all the way through year nine. And people used to, 
people, obviously people don't always understand. It wasn't necessarily because the new was autistic, but certain special needs made me more vulnerable to being uh, bullied and things. But it does, it is, like when I was saying about making friends, it does set, it does affect your social skills. You might not talk to certain people, you might not get along with them and things like that. Anyway, so, but what I've tried to do, obviously, to negative to a positive is I have done around different, a few different schools in my local area um, in the past year or so, I've been to two, um, and I've done a bit of work at my high school as well. So I've been, I went to, back to my old primary school and to another primary school, and I taught with year five at one primary school, another taught with year five and six, and I, and I'm saying I did talks with like, pupils and members of staff at my high school as well um, to try and raise awareness of not just autism but my other disabilities but uh, especially autism so I tried to you know so it's and lot and when I went to a primary school in uh, February uh, the the year five and six that asked a lot of good questions St Herbert's primary school hi and um, they were really good and one of the things they asked me was, what are the positives and, well, the advantages and disadvantages of having an awesome, I had obviously disadvantages mentioned, it's hard to make friends, uh, but it's, you know, you can be bullied, but um, also, the advantages are people are a bit nice and see, and they're more understanding. A lot of people I know, obviously, some horrible people who out there who aren't, or, you know, but I have a lot of good people in my life, my family and friends, people I know, my neighbours in there and everything. Anyway, so, uh, with my autism, I know this is a, I do sometimes do not like crowding, like a lot of people, or too much noise, and it does, you know, affect me, but it's like, I just get on with it. So, like, when I've tried to talk to people, when people ask me about it, I try to, like, you know, put in positive light, and it's like, it is hard. Some people do guess sometimes that I analyse, but sometimes they don't, and I think I'm a bit weird, but I do explain it, and they do understand. One of the main things you get perceived about as being, as well as weird, of having autism, is sometimes, like, people perceive you as being gay. Obviously, there are some people who are gay and autistic, but I'm not. I'm just autistic. Uh, but that is sometimes perceived about me. People think I am, but I'm not. And I have to explain, like, I'm not, but, you know. Um, but I'm not a homophobic person. Not myself. I know gay people on the street, and I have no problems with them. But anyway. So, I think, it's, you know, it's a positive and negative thing to have an autism. And another thing that, it affects me with is that I'll so, so I'll do about like social stuff. Sometimes like I mess up in like friendship situations and you know things like that. And like life is a bit well, maybe a bit maybe not. It depends. It, it does affect people in different ways. So when I I always try and have some facts that I know about or you know, Asperger's syndrome. So there are about seven hundred thousand Last time I checked, people in the UK have autism, probably more, a lot more than that, including Asperger's Syndrome. So there's a lot more than you realise, so you may know someone. And there was one kid who asked me, who his little cousin, four-year-old cousin, I think, had autism, and he doesn't always understand him. The kid said to me, um, what should I do so I can understand? I think, obviously, if you have severe autism, Pete, you might not be able to talk, but I'd say... Try and like communicate in a different way, find out if you can do things with him to help uh, with his autism so he gets on better with you and things like that. And it's like, right. Another thing uh, a kid asked me at one of the primary schools I went to was people with autism can be, have a pity, something that is, so um, people with spirit is 
particular topic obsession, so they might be obsessed with football, one of my also different with football and YouTube. I'll say I do YouTube, but I'm not obsessed with it. But you should be obsessed with that person, not in a stalker kind of way, but you want to like be friends with and it can you know, or you might be and um, like it could be with a subject, it could be with a person, it could be with anything in general, really. But just depend different for for it's but also not just a bit, but also affects people on different obviously there's different levels, so low, medium and severe, you know, high or um, of autism. So yeah, uh, I think that's all I've got to say. But also I try to inspire people also by raising awareness of people who have autism but also a lot of famous people who have autism like Susan Boyle, you know, famous Cinder who was on Britain's Got Talent. Uh she has um, I suppose you've seen them, but she don't know. A lot of people don't diagnose them. Like, once I met someone at a funeral a few years ago, and they were 62 and they didn't... Uh, well, I think I think they were in 62, but they didn't di diagnose 62, so they've been, only been diagnosed a few, for a few years with autism. Um, yeah, and also, like, pe the, the famous people who thought of it, like William Shakespeare, Albert Einstein... Um, I'm trying to think who else. How about Einstein, William Shakespeare, people like that. So, famous people uh, were thought to have had it. Um, yeah. So, mm -hmm. so that is my uh, autism story. So I really hope you like this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at my flankers and follow me on TikTok and music MA Fox seven. So thank you so for thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like just that style as I always said. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.